royal expert has suggested that Meghan Markle's recent spate of public appearances with Harry signals that all is not well for the Californian-based couple. Meghan Markle's recent appearances alongside Prince Harry have sparked claims that all is not well for the Sussexes. Daily Mail diary editor Richard Eden told Palace Confidential this week that Meghan's presence at polo events with Harry shows that the couple might be struggling with Netflix and Spotify deals. He remarked that the recent cancellation of the animated series Pearl on Netflix had hit Meghan hard after she had devoted a lot of time and effort to the series. Mr. Eden said that the couple had overextended themselves with all their financial commitments. He explained, I do sense there's a bit of trouble there really. It's very curious all these photos of Meghan getting involved with all these polo events. I remember writing about the polo back in Britain years ago that Meghan wasn't very keen for Harry to play in polo matches unless it could be guaranteed that it would raise £1 million for charity each time. Mr Eden continued, she felt that it was kind of beneath him to be playing in matches that would just make a few thousand pounds when he should be going for the big ticket matches. But here he is, playing polo every week, and we've got Meghan turning up at all these events, handing over trophies, the same way she turned up at the Invictus Games. To me, that's an indication that all's not well. Meghan was spotted accompanying Harry at a polo event in California on Sunday. She presented her husband's polo team Los Padres with the Lyle Nixon Memorial Trophy after they won the event at the Santa Barbara Polo and Racquet Club. He suggested the couple were scrambling to maintain their celebrity status. The royal expert noted, they have had to cope with changing plans, they put a lot of effort into developing Pearl. They invested a lot of hope in that. A lot seems in flux, like Harry's memoir as well. This comes as the Duke and Duchess prepare for their first major trip to the UK since their departure to the US, for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee next weekend. For the first time since their move to California, the Sussexes will be travelling to London with their two children to help celebrate Queen Elizabeth's historic Platinum Jubilee. The Queen is expected to welcome Harry and Meghan with open arms, and will surely be delighted to meet her namesake great-granddaughter, Lilibet Diana for the first time. Her Majesty also reportedly gave strict orders to the family to come together for the weekend, with no unpleasantness that could ruin her big event. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, along with their children, are scheduled to attend Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee in London, which begins on June 4. Harry and Meghan will not be appearing on the Buckingham Palace balcony during the Trooping the Colour Parade but they are expected to make appearances at other events and to meet with the Queen, Prince Charles, and other family members. The tension between Harry and his other family members appears to be easing up as well. Back in January, Prince Charles wrote an essay on climate change for Newsweek in which he praised both his sons for their commitment to environmental protection. Harry also met with his father in a show of peacemaking during his brief stopover in London en route to the Invictus Games. To the joy of Royals fans, Harry is said to be back on good terms with big brother Prince William. A source tells the Mirror that the brothers now FaceTime each other several times a week, even bringing their children in on the conversations. Perhaps even more surprising, however, is news that the Duchess of Sussex is healing a bitter family relationship of her own.